Most of the year they are pharmacists, executives, systems engineers, retirees. But for one week of vacation, they try their hand at crafts like blacksmithing, wood turning, jewelry making, or rug hooking. As students at the John C. Campbell Folk School in the small mountain community of Brasstown, North Carolina. People come to folk school from all over. Uh, we have people here from every state every year. And the reason they come here, I think, is because they want to do something real. They want to do something that's not virtual, that's not, uh, you know, business. They want to make something that matters in the real world. Usually a three-dimensional object or a painting or write a story. They want to make something real. We're just made that way. We have to make things. Oh, the, the blade slice, the angle so it slices yeah. automatically? Yeah. At what might be best described as a sleepaway camp for adults, folk school students choose a class for the week and spend much of each day learning about a craft. Yeah. On the inside of the bowl, you want to work from the middle to the side. In between, there's time for good food, community, song, dance, and enjoying a beautiful natural setting. The hands-on classes are designed for everyone from beginner to advanced. Hard work, sometimes, but participants say it's relaxing too. We, uh, we work in the morning and afternoon and then we come back and we can practice at night, so we've been pounding metal for, for eight hours, ten hours a day, and I'm very sore. <laughs> and I got blisters and burns, and, and, uh, but uh, I get lost in it. I mean, I just, everything is just blurs away and, and just focus on what you, the, the work in front of you and because uh, it's new and, and, and you, you want to concentrate on what you're doing and want to make sure you learn what, what the teacher has presented. Part of the folk school's mission is to provide what they call a non-competitive learning experience and students seem to find satisfaction in developing a new skill. Um, but here it's all about challenging myself, it's all about learning the new skills and being able to take that back with me and you, you can't help but learn here, you know, um, whether you learn something about the craft or you learn something about your own problem solving skills. And they really dive in. I heard about the folk school several years ago. I, ever since, I've been dreaming about coming here. I mean, this was a perfect week's vacation for me. Uh, although I'm going to need a rest from my vacation when I go home because this is so engrossing that I'm spending 12 hours literally on my feet doing something that is just fascinating. At the end of the week, students have a chance to show off their work and take home some unique souvenirs, their projects, and a new passion. It's the best vacation in the world because you're not trying to do nothing, which most of us are incapable of doing anyway. What you're doing is working really hard on something you want to do, and so is everybody else. And so it turns out to be time well spent. Holly Furfer, CNN.